So when I arrived, I already had two things to do. One was to help John develop the pillar and post, and I knew some of the people involved with that. He had just bought the cannery with uh, Gordy Paul and converted it into the pillar and post restaurant. And the other aspect was working with Calvin on getting something called the Niagara Institute, which was just an idea at that point going. Yeah, the original thought was that uh, this, whatever you call it, this resort, this hotel come restaurant come recreational facility would be built out toward the end of John Street and 50 acres of land had been acquired. We call Peachy Pastures. It's where the uh, Peller facility now is. And uh, Don Chapman had drawn up plans. I forget how many rooms we anticipated, but it was something like 80 and a restaurant and a pond and things to do there. Uh, that was long before anyone else contemplated that. It was really the first of its kind, long before the Queen's Landing and so on had been built. At that point, for example, the Prince of Wales was just a, uh, a ragtag place, um, ladies and escort signs over the doors, that sort of thing. So um, that didn't work out, although we held the land for a period of time because John, with Gordy Paul, who was a restaurateur and, and hotelier in Niagara Falls, uh, had bought the cannery and developed the Pillar and Post restaurant there. So instead of going to Peachy Pastures and building, the group decided to build onto the, the, uh, the Pillar and Post restaurant. And then the first, the first phase of the inn, the Pillar and Post inn, was built in 1973.